Hello, welcome to another video. The mission is to verify this hyperbolic trig identity. So we have the square of hyperbolic cosine, which we call cosh in America, we call cosine in British environment. And this is gonna be cinch in America, but we call it shine in British environment. And we just wanna be able to show that contrary to what we have in trigonometry where we have that is non-hyperbolic trigonometry where we just have cosine squared x it has to be plus sine squared x equals one but in hyperbolic trigonometry we're going to be getting the opposite there's a minus sign between the cosine and the sine and don't forget the position cosine minus sine squared cosine squared minus sine squared equals one. Well, this is true, but we just wanna show that it is true. So how do we do that? We first have to know what cosine, hyperbolic cosine is and hyperbolic sine is. We're gonna square both of them or do whatever else we wanna do and then be able to um, show that we're gonna end up with a one. So let's start with the definition of hyperbolic cosine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we say that hyperbolic cosine, I'm gonna keep saying hyperbolic cosine so I can put everybody together, whether you are in America or you in a British environment, whatever else environment you're in, you don't get offended, hyperbolic cosine. Hyperbolic cosine of x can be written as e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by two. The same thing, we have hyperbolic sine, of x is e to the x, this time is minus e to the minus x divided by two. So you need to have these memorized. How do you remember which one is which? Remember the nature of the sine function. The sine function is an odd function, that is it is sensitive to the minus sign. So it has the minus sign. I'm sure that helps you. Both of them have exponents, one is positive, one is negative, but the sign between the terms is negative for sine and that's constant and it's always the same thing. Okay, now that you see that, let's get into it. Now, how do I do this? There are two ways I could go about this. I could say that I'm gonna square this and then square this and then add them up together and expect to get one. Okay, that's possible, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna use the difference of two squares here. So I'm gonna say that, let me do my work here. So I'm gonna say that hyperbolic cosine squared of x minus hyperbolic sine squared of x can be written as hyperbolic cosine plus hyperbolic sine of x, hey, of x, okay, of x, multiplied by hyperbolic cosine of x minus hyperbolic sine of x. So I'm using the difference of two squares principle here and let's see what that gives us. So what is this? This is gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna bring this here. So this is equal to, um, what is hyperbolic cosine? It's right here. E to the x plus e to the negative x divided by two. I'm gonna add it to e to the x plus, no, this is minus for this, minus e to the negative x over two. Okay, but I'm going to multiply these two by, this is e to the x plus e to the negative x over two minus e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. Okay, so like this, like this. Okay, now let's see what happens. Because they have the same denominator, so it's gonna be over two. So this is gonna be e to the x plus e to the negative x plus e to the x minus e to the negative x. I'm gonna multiply by the same thing, two, I have e to the x plus e to the negative x minus e to the x 
minus times minus is plus e to the negative x. So I got this. I know this will cancel this out, so what I have left is just these two, and what does that give me? That gives me two of these, 2e to the x over 2. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Multiplied by, what does this give me? This gives me, this takes this out, so I have these two, so I'm going to get 2e to the negative x over 2. Well, clearly, this cancels this. This cancels this, and what I have left is e to the x multiplied by e to the negative x. Well, I know that because laws of exponents, I add the exponents together, that's e to the x minus x, which is e to the 0, which is 1. This is my way of doing this. I like this, but this is verified. We're going to need to use this in other integrals that I'm going to be doing in the near future. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.